customer service based approach to welcoming our citizens back home. Yeah. Um, one of the key considerations is the fact that these persons, the large majority, the overwhelming majority of them, did not commit an offence in Jamaica. Yes. And therefore, they are citizens returning. Yes. Though involuntary, yes. we have a duty to ensure that the reception is of such that we um, we start the process yes. of, of giving them a feel of reintegration. And certainly there are a number of organizations within Jamaica that are dedicated to working with involuntary return migrants. Yes. Um, in terms of um, social needs, social protection, in terms of health care. The Ministry of, of Health is a big partner with us okay. whenever we go for our involuntary um, migrants. Yeah. In fact, once a month we get we, we, we pick up the set from the U.S. Yeah. of um, um, an average of 60, 75 persons per month. Per month? Per month comes in from the U.S. and that's a big operation for Must us. Be. Um, as, as, a, as a JCF and we partner with um, PIOJ, um, the Ministry of Health and a number of um, non-government organizations that are dedicated to working with this group of people so that they can become functional members of society. And, and it takes that must be a lot of work because in many instances these persons really have no connection no when connection. they come home. No connection. In my experience I've seen people leave here at two years old yes, and are returning at 50, 60 years old did not know, do not know where they were living before, do not have any connection with relative, and that's where some of the non-government organization comes in to provide shelter, yeah. to provide a housing, to provide um, identification for these persons yes. who are without an identity per se. True. True. So it is, it is a lot of work. The work is expansive. Yes. And we have developed a number of partnerships that are to the benefit of the program that we know. Um, follow and yes. the, the program that has been operationalized yes sure and this migration plan goes a far way to develop a structure for how we treat with um, involuntary report involuntary return migrants as well as uh, the wider cross-section of migrants in detail as to the, the numbers you speak about these involuntary return migrants what, what kind of numbers we deal with on a monthly basis any idea at all what you're talking about well on an annual basis on an annual, sure. on an annual basis certainly the 2017 numbers yes. suggest that 1393 um, involuntary return migrants came back to Jamaica in 2017. Yes. In 2016, 1,757 yes. came back. Wow. So the numbers high. are high. Yes, that's a lot of work. A lot of work. Well, we so want to thank you so much, Sergeant uh, Rowe, Patrick Ro, and of course, Shane with us of the Spotlight on Migration and the tremendous work that you're all doing and continue to do. Thank you ever so much. Thank you very much. The pleasure was mine. That was Spotlight on Migration.